Hi guys, my name is Valery from Valery Visuals and I'm an illustrator, graphic and motion designer. And today, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create this animated 3D spheres field all inside After Effects without any using of any plugins. Ok, so first we need to create a white solid. Press Ctrl Y and create a white solid. Next, go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for CC Ball Action Effect and then apply it on our solid. And now I want to show you what we can do with this effect. We're going to play around with the uh, parameters to understand a little bit what kind of things you can create with CC Ball Action. I suggest to you guys always play around a little bit with the different sections and the different parameters of the effect especially when it's a, a new effect for you Before we starting with our tutorial, I wanted to show you guys how easy you can create with this effect a space field only with the use of a 3D camera and the glow effect. So first thing I'm adjusting the parameters here. Next click on the right click in this area and choose new camera. And then if I move the camera you can see guys how quickly it was to create a space field just with this effect. Now we can add a glow effect and uh, for the giving this uh, a kind of a star looking. We can uh, increase the sphere size so you can see it uh, more clearly. And that's it. Just wanted to show you how easy you can create the space field. Alright, and now let's begin with our tutorial. First thing, we need to increase the size of the ball and uh, increase the grid spacing. Next, we need to create a, a rotation of uh, our field. Create a keyframe in the beginning of the composition and in the end of the composition press 1, one uh, rotation. And then we have a twist angle, this is adding a, another rotation of the field. Press on the stopwatch while you're holding a ALT key on the keyboard for opening the expression panel. In the expression panel you need to write time multiply 300 on 300. 
and this is create another rotation for our field you see guys looking kind of nice adjust a little bit uh, the grid spacing and the ball size and now let's create a text and uh, turn it to a 3d text adjust the size of the text click on this button to turn the text to a 3D layer next go to the renderer options and choose Cinema 4D then click OK and now if we create a new camera you can see I'm uh, turn a little bit the camera so you can see guys search for mm, geometry options of our text and go to extrusion depth and then when you increasing the extrusion depth you can see our our text turn into a 3d text and now let's add the color to the sides of the text go to animate side color rgb and choose any color that you want here you can see now you can see the depth uh, more clearly now let's turn off our camera let's bring the text down here okay I increase a little bit the size and uh, the scatter and now let's let's add a color to our spheres search for a three tone effect in the effects and presets panel then choose any color that you want And now you can see guys this already looking great and now to giving it a, a more a 3d look to our spheres let's add a drop shadow effect and adjust a little bit the para parameters Is giving the feeling like the spheres is uh, before the text for the final touches we can duplicate our uh, sphere field put it behind uh, the text and then uh, go click a uh, right click go to time reverse time and change a little bit the parameters choose a uh, more darkened color for both colors to give it a, a look like in the back of our field and uh, and now add a fast box blur effect to giving it even more the look like it's in the back you see guys this is our scene Thank you.
Now we can create a position for our camera and create a different uh, animations. Like this, we can even uh, put a solid behind and add to this solid a gradient ramp effect. Choose interesting colors to create an interesting, interesting look. We can even uh, do an animation like this of the camera. And that's it guys. This is how you create a 3D sphere field inside After Effects without using any plugins. If you like this, you can press the like button or subscribe to my channel. And I see you next time. Thank you.